Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about not using mirrors correctly when changing direction. So this is what I want to talk about in this video because many learners, they are failing the driving test because they don't use the mirrors correctly. Hopefully, this video will help you to understand why using the mirrors are important and hopefully it will help you to pass the driving test without failing the driving test on mirrors. Let's start the lesson. Now you as a driver you have three mirrors okay and the mirrors are there for a reason and it is one of the most important thing for you to be safe on the road. You as a driver, you have to make sure that you are safe on the road and the only way you will know that is by collecting information. Because many learners, they just drive like a tunnel vision and they don't drive using the mirrors. And this is the reason why many learners are failing the driving test. Now you have three mirrors. Why do we have the mirrors? Why is it there for? It is there so that we collect information and according to that, what we see on the mirrors, we act upon. So if we look at the top mirror and we see who's behind, if we look on the side mirror, we see a cyclist, motorcyclist, same here. We look at the side mirror, we see there are cyclists, motorcyclists, there are people overtaking. And unless we look at the mirror, we don't really know who's there on the side of our car or at the back or behind of our car. So before any change of speed, whether you are going up or down, always look at the mirror before you do anything. So you're gonna slow the car, you look at the mirror first to see who's behind. You wanna give gas, you look at the mirror to see who's behind. Now we understand why we look at the mirror before slowing down because we want to see who's there. So why do we need to look at the mirror before giving gas? Because when we give gas or the accelerate, we are going fast. Why do we need to look at the mirror? The reason because we look at the mirror and there is somebody overtaking. Are you going to give gas? You're not going to give gas, right? Unless we look at the mirror, we don't really know who's overtaking us. So any change of speed, whether you are slowing down or giving gas, always look at the top mirror. You need to change lane on the left, you look at the top and left mirror. You need to change lane on the right, maybe you need to overtake, look at the top and right mirror. Now, side mirrors, Always look at the top mirror first before you look at the side mirrors. So say you want to change lane on the left. Look at the top mirror who's behind and then look on this side and then change lane. Same with the right. Look at the top mirror first, then right and then change lane. So let's talk about the roundabouts because many learners, they fail the driving test on the roundabouts for not looking at the mirrors correctly. Okay? So on the roundabout, you enter the roundabout, maybe you want to go right somewhere, which means you enter into the right lane. And then before you come off the roundabout, so you enter into the right lane and you go around. And as you come off on your exit, you need to change lane back to your left lane. And the reason they're failing the driving test is because just before they change lane, many learners, they don't look at the mirror before they need to change lane to left lane to come off the roundabout. The reason you need to look at the mirrors before you change is because there could be another car already there and you're trying to change lane. Maybe they're next to you or as you're coming to your lane, there could be another car and the gap may be not big enough for you to change lane at that time. So always look at the mirror before changing lane. Many learners, like I said, they fail in the roundabout for not looking at the mirrors before changing lane. Basically, before coming off the roundabout, they don't look at the mirrors. Also, on a dual carriageway, many learners, they fail because they don't look at the mirrors before changing lane. Maybe you end up in the middle lane on the dual carriageway where maybe there are two lanes or three lanes and you need to come back to your left lane before you do that, what do you need to do? Look at the top and left mirror, then signal, and obviously blind spot before changing lane. If you don't look at the mirror, you're not gonna know if there is somebody already there. Same with the right. You need to change lane on the right, top and right mirror, signal, obviously blind spot before change lane. And like I said, if you don't look at the mirror, you don't know who's already there for you to change lane. So like I said, the mirrors are there to give you information. Unless you look at the mirror, you don't really know who's already there. So don't just look at the mirror because you need to look for you to pass the test. After you pass the test, why are you not going to look at the mirrors anymore? 
you always have to look at the mirrors because without mirrors you are not safe and you are not safe for others on the road so basically any change of speed up or down you always have to look at the mirrors and one of the things I say to my learners when I'm teaching is to is to master the mirror signal maneuver routine if you could master that you will never go wrong when you are dealing with junctions or changing lanes because the mirror signal maneuver gives you everything you need for you to change lane and for you to deal with junctions and it gives you in an order so that everything is done automatically you don't even have to think if you just do the mirror signal maneuver routine everything is done automatically so the mirrors signal maneuver routine is mirrors signal and the maneuver is into three parts position speed and look so if you do those five mirror signal and the maneuver is position speed and look so when you are dealing with a junction or when you're changing lane if you do those five things which is mirrors signal position speed and look if you do one by one all of them you have covered everything for you to be safe and for you to change lane and deal with the junctions safely i have seen some instructors try to change the method of mirror signal maneuver they put their own method in i don't know why they do that remember the mirror signal maneuver wasn't given to you just by someone who just woke up and decided to give you that or give us that this mirror signal maneuver has been there for years they have researched and they have studied to come up with this formula which is mirror signal maneuver like i said they didn't just wake up in the morning and decided to give you that this mirror signal maneuver has a lot of research and studies behind that so that any driver who is using that will be safe when they are dealing with junctions and when they are dealing with changing lanes okay so my advice to you would be to master the mirror signal maneuver which is position speed look mirrors signal position speed and look master that and always use that method when you are dealing with junctions and when you are dealing with changing lanes that way you have ticked all the boxes that is needed for you to be safe when you are changing lanes try not to change that because if you try to change that then you will miss something without you knowing this method like i said is given to us by a lot of studying and a lot of research has been done to give us this formula just for example just to give an example just say we want to go left okay so what do we do let's put those five things into practice so first we look at the mirrors then we put the signal on then we check if the position is correct are we in the correct position then we check if the speed is okay and then we look again just to see any changes or maybe the road we're going in maybe something is there we'll do a final check and then we go in okay now if you try to change that you could say yeah but why do i need to look at the mirror first because i've been looking at the mirror why do i need to check my positions okay because i should have the position anyway but it is a reminder before you're going in just giving you making sure that everything is correct everything you have been doing is correct this is why this formula works every time if you try to change it you could argue with the formula but it's not going to do you any good because this formula like i said it is studied and it's researched so that if you follow that mspsl routine you're always going to be safe when you are going left when you're going right when you're dealing with junctions when you're dealing with roundabouts when you're dealing with changing lanes so my advice to you is my strong advice to you is to master the mirror signal maneuver routine which is mirrors signal position speed and look i hope this video helps and that's it for this video if you like the video please do give a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now